after one long month, it was definitely my time to leave Egypt. To get out of the desert, to get out of the heat. It was so nice to see the snow-capped mountains of Switzerland, <laughs> even if it was just from the sky. Even enjoyed the thrill of turbulence, one of my favorite parts of flying. Hello London. The reason I chose to come to London is because I don't think it gets more opposite from Egypt. <laughs> I was so ready to be out of Egypt. I was so ready to be out of the heat. I was so ready to get back to my favorite weather. You guys are watching the crown. And I look outside. And Why, hello everybody. Uh, is the mic on? Mic is on. We're recording. I don't know, let me balance. I think you can see me. Okay, I need to go. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in London, you guys. I am so excited to be here. When I tell you, okay, I was going through it the last week of being in Egypt. I was in Egypt for exactly a month because that's as long as Americans are allowed to be in Egypt, 30 days with no visa. Um, you guys, I was dying my last week of London, uh, of Egypt. Um, I was feeling like just Egypt is a very hard country to travel as a solo female it really is um, it's not a good place to travel as a female solo even though I've done it almost four or five times at this point although my brother was with me twice still been there they've always left and I've always been there by myself at the end and um, I'm miserable to be honest with you um, I did want to go to Egypt to do a couple videos that you guys may have seen uh, on my channel, my last videos, which is the reason I was in Egypt. Also, um, I went to visit Siwa, get some pictures there, and you know, it did turn out to be a good trip in a work, in a work sense, but as far as a self sense, no. I was very unhappy and the last two weeks of being in Egypt I just stayed in my hotel room and in Egypt it wasn't bad it was more just like um, I felt like a walking piece of meat more so and they make uh, a lot of sec you guys you guys could hear it in, in my video you guys if you guys watched the video of me um, some of you guys picked up on it in some of my videos the way that the men talk to me they just you could just, they don't look at my eyes, they're just looking at my body and they're just like, your cells, your body. <sighs> and that's how they look and talk and stare and I just was over it. And I felt like they wouldn't be making those type of comments or treating me that way if I was with a man, but I'm known as one. I feel like I am known 
as a solo female traveler and I'm not anymore. I am a traveler but no longer solo. I'm done with that gig. I'm done with that whole gig. It's over. I am gonna be traveling with people. I'm done with it. Um, um, I don't want to travel with people I don't know anymore. No more of that. Nope, no, no more of that either. <laughs> I am traveling from now on. Mm, okay, so this summer, I don't know how much I, I want to say with my man, my boo boo, my man this summer. And then the rest of the year, I'm going to be traveling with that I will hire and that is it for a rest for the rest of my <laughs> life <laughs> I guess I'm only going to be traveling uh, with people and I'm only even going to be traveling with either my family my man or the two people I hired um, and that's it yep so the whole travel solo female it's it's done it's done I'm over it I'm over it. I don't enjoy being alone I don't enjoy traveling alone anymore. I used to. Not anymore. I don't like it anymore. I, I'm done. It's not enjoyable for me. I hate it. It makes my job harder because um, it's harder for me to get good content. I think if someone was with me, I get better video content. I get better pictures, obviously, versus me just asking random people to take my pictures and then they come out terrible. I wanted to come here, come here and tell you that that, that that era of my life is done. I'm over it. Um, I'm not known as a solo traveler anymore, I can cross that off. That, um, I got robbed. <laughs> yeah, I never thought it would happen to me, but I was walking down the street here in London, and someone literally just came and he just literally yanked my phone out of my hand. He just, he was on a bike, so he was going very fast, and he snatched it right perfectly out of my hand and kept riding so fast I didn't have the opportunity to be like hey that guy took my phone like he was gone by the time I would have gotten those words out of my mouth um so um surprisingly I wasn't upset I have insurance so I erased the phone I called my sister immediately and I was like what do I do she's like erase your phone now so I take it to the closest police station yeah, you guys, I just got my phone stolen in London. Like, what the crap? Who does that? I'm sending the person who stole my phone a message right now. I know where you are, thief. You are thief. I know where you are, thief. Boom, activate. This, and it says the phone will be locked with this yeah, message on the front. I erased it uh, on Find My iPhone app. And then, like, you know, on Find My iPhone, if your phone gets stolen, you can put, like, phone is stolen. And then you can choose to put a message on the front of the phone. So the phone will go black and a message will go on top. And I put, like, I know who you are. <laughs> I didn't know who he was. But uh, I just made it. I actually don't care, to be honest with you. I don't mind. I hope that the phone brings him some sort of uh, benefits. He can have it, actually. <laughs> I really don't mind. I actually have an iPad, which is like a giant phone. So I've been using my iPad for the last two days, three days. And I'm going to go get a new phone uh, probably the day tomorrow or the day after. Um, at the Apple Store, I, mean, I have the insurance. Immediately after that happened, I was like, nope. I'm not walking around anymore without one of my high spirit bags and I was so upset because I didn't have a high spirit bag with me and I reached out to the guys at high spirit and they dropped off another bag for me. You guys know I travel with the high spirit bags. If you've been watching me for a minute you know I travel with these bags. I love them because they are designed for travelers so they've got the zipper in the back. Isn't that amazing? So like everything you have is secured because the zipper is facing your back so if no one can pickpocket you no one can grab no one can you know casually rob you while you're walking down the street because they probably don't even know where the zipper is it's completely on the back and I love it and it makes me nervous because like I like my stuff is designer so like um, 
I feel like it's, I don't know, like I get nervous when I pull my wallet out. So this wallet is staying in this bag. Uh, my passport is staying in this bag. Everything I have, I was walking around with my uh, iPad. So also that's staying in this bag. Um, everything is staying in this bag from now on. I love High Spirit bags so much. Thank you so much to Josh and John. Um, they own High Spirit um, and they're based here in London actually. And yeah, like I said, I love their bags and you can find the link down below as well as my discount code um, if you guys want to check out their bags. I highly recommend it if you're going on trips, especially in Europe. I feel like Europe is the pickpocket capital um, like because I, I, it's so touristy and I feel like people come here and they're so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and they're like, oh, like, I'm in Paris or I'm in London and they're not paying attention to their stuff. That's why I think the pickpocket getting here is so bad. And actually they told me, like, my friend told me who lives here, he was like, you better be glad, like, the guy didn't approach you. Like, sometimes here people in London approach you and they're like, yo, give me your stuff. Like, give me your wallet. Give me this and this. And they might have a knife or something. So I'm actually not mad at all. He took my phone. I'm like, take it. I'm happy you didn't take my wallet or my passport or anything that's important. I can't really replace that easily. But I don't want to happen. I don't want that to happen to me again. And I won't be walking around alone again. And I will be having this bag with me at all times. Um, yeah, I love this bag so much. It also looks really clean, really high end. It stays really clean. I This is my second bag. My brothers actually have my other bag. That's why I don't have it. My brother Jesse and Isaiah, they, they take them. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really glad they dropped this off because now I feel safe when I'm walking around. Um, this portion of the video is sponsored by High Spirit. But of course, all thoughts and opinions are my own. I absolutely love their stuff. And, yeah, I just... That's really it for this video. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that I'm done being a solo traveler. It's done. You don't think about me like that anymore. I'm not by myself, ever. <laughs> I am surrounding myself with people because no man is an island <laughs> no man is an island and I don't want to be a, an island anymore I'm done with that whole gig so thank you guys so much for watching my videos and liking them and commenting I really appreciate it and subscribing or if you haven't done any of those things just watching in general I still appreciate you because there's a lot of people who just watch who just check up on me every single day but they don't like subscribe comment nothing and i don't mind i still love you too and uh yeah i will see you guys i'm so excited for my london content coming up soon and then the places i'm going after london i'm very excited for you guys to see it um i'll see you guys in the next video bye